Greetings. Welcome to my tutorial on uh, basing and painting a 60 millimeter American bolt action mortar set. If you haven't seen these sets around, I know I'm going to show you an incorrect set here, but basically they uh, come in boxes that look like that. They're little three person sets from Warlord Games. They're a uh, pretty, uh, probably one of the best 28 millimeter lines of miniatures, regardless of genre. Warlord's done a good job of sculpting these. I don't know what possessed me to buy a mortar set. It seemed like a good idea at the time. I'm still building my American army and I have yet to play a game. So uh, uh, basically the pack comes with uh, enough for uh, three persons. You get a uh, ammo bearer, presumably this guy needs to be repainted and touched a little. You get basically the, uh, the dropper dumps the mortar, mortar uh, shell in the tube and presumably what looks like the esteemed leader with binoculars in hand. So we start off by saying that uh, the first thing you're going to need for this mortar team, because it does not come with a base anywhere, shape, or form, even a, uh, a small blank, is uh, you're going to need a base. I get mine from uh, Litco. That is, you can read it, www.litco.net. These are uh, 1.6 millimeter plywood bases, 60 millimeter, and that's a 10 count. Now keep in mind, I also buy the blanks, and the blanks are simply uh, the uh, 25 millimeter uh, wood blanks, basically sold as the bases for bolt action figures. So, first step to achieving a base is, uh, and I think you probably see the fact that I pulled up this uh, really daunting Ryobi set. This is a Ryobi Foster bit set, probably sold at all big box home improvement stores, any place we can get tools, you can get a set of Forstner bit sets. The, if you can avoid buying this set, because they are somewhat pricey, the magic bit you're looking for, and for those of you within the uh, non in the uh, metrically impaired part of the universe is uh, this particular bit. This is a one inch bit. Looks like this. You can see that. And that is a one inch Forstner bit. Now the Forstner bits are exactly for cutting uh, whole blanks within wood. So, and that's what you're going to be using today. So, what you're going to do is you're going to take your 60 millimeter blank going to hook that to your, the power drill of your preference. Take your Forstner bit, mark off exactly where on the base you want your guys at, and keep in mind on a 60 millimeter base you're not going to uh, have a lot of room. Uh, the other thing to be careful of is when you do this, I highly recommend you use uh, painter's tape to cover up where you want the bit to come through and you're going to do the opposite. So basically I want these holes, this is going to be the side I'm using. I kind of incorrectly mark this. The scorch marks don't bother me, but so you're going to put your painter's tape kind of over the back side, like that, and force out your holes. Now, once your holes are done, you're basically going to take a second sheet and glue it on to the back and that will give you the correct depth for your whole your base holder basically now keep in mind these are the 25 millimeter one inch bases you can see I previously cut this one there's a little bit of play in there but not much but there's also the perfect amount of play to hold the base intact keep the figure from moving if you do get a little rowdy on your uh, drunken game nights the guy won't kind of spin in Molly Hawk. Now, the other thing to note is that you're also going to need to have a kind of a grasp of the game mechanics. I only cut one hole for the base on the mortar team. It takes a minimum of two people to operate the mortar. Uh, so basically, I kind of figured that if the commander took a hit, the mortar would still be in service. But if you lost more than two people, 
the mortar would definitely be out of service. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be gluing these guys down to the base, obviously with the exception of the commander, uh, with the assumption that if two people are taken out of the mortar team, the mortar team is pretty much out of service. So it's only going to be one actual removable figure. A few things you can do is uh, make removable blanks. Basically the uh, the 25 mil, you can make one with terrain or with a dead dude on it or whatever you want to do. But uh, anyway, that's it. So key figures, one inch Forstner bit, 60 millimeter blanks, and uh, 25 millimeter, uh, 25 millimeter bases. That's all you're gonna need. Now to keep in mind, these 25 millimeter bases, the ones that uh, Bolt Action does sell with their their figure line. I don't have one right handy, but uh, those also fit nicely in those holes. So it's not like it has to be uh, it's from Litco or any of the other companies. Uh, if they're a standard size, they'll fit. Okay. On to part two.